Hello friends, in this session today, let's understand the concept of Power BI data gateways. Why we require them? Why we need gateways? Let's understand. Mainly for the purpose of data refresh activities. What does it mean? Assume you designed a Power BI report using a data source like Excel or SQL database or anything. Say you got one data source and you design a report. You publish to cloud. What if data gets modified at the source? Usually happens, right? Usually the data keeps modified at the source. It keeps changing. Now how to ensure your report is up to date? There comes number seven gateway bridge between the black box data source and the red box power bi cloud let's understand how to perform this activity so our agenda box number eight data refreshed with circle number seven black box to red box using the in between gateway the purple box let's understand how it is so Power BI gateways also called data gateways, an application that needs to be installed in the computer where actual data source resides or accessible. Make sure we have, make sure we have the data source, make sure we have the data source is accessible or data source is residing in the same computer in which your gateway is installed let's understand mainly used for scheduled incremental data refresh the gateways are used for scheduled incremental data refresh have a look at it between the source and the cloud so we require 64 bit windows mandatory windows 8 or higher operating system and any processor any processor that supports windows 8 or higher environment and gateway runs with one internal service called nt service pbi eg Power BI engine gateway service. Let's understand how to work with it. First, log into Power BI cloud and create a workspace. You need to log into Power BI cloud and create a workspace first. So, here we go. I had one empty workspace like this. Okay, next. Once your empty workspace is ready, then the next step, launch Power BI desktop, identify the data source. Identify the data source, design the report and save it. In our example, we have a data source in my F drive. Here you go. Let me take the file. Here it is. This is my file in my F drive, in my computer's F drive. Your data source ready. From this data source, our requirement to design a report. So here we go. Click on the table. Click on the table or any other visualization of your choice for our easy understanding, easy reporting. Let's take a table visualization. I'll say country and segment product profit sale like this give some values in this way and i'll include some style a table style for example alternate row colors and grid format options 
I'll just increase the font size. We are aware of this reporting environment. Let's concentrate on the gateway concept now. Okay, so some data is ready like this. Additionally, let's have one tree map or any other visualization. I'll say country wise unit sold, something like this. Well, a report is ready. A report is ready with a basic visualization set, a tree map and table. And for our easy understanding, I'll include values like this. And category labels, just to make it clear for our easy verification in next few minutes. Well, your report is ready. Our requirement. How to get this report refreshed? in cloud environment for this let's go to publish report let's publish it will prompt you for the workspace and select the workspace that we created few moments back okay so once you get this published our next step once we get the report published now what we do, here we go, we need to go to, here it is, we need to go to cloud, so simply say got it, click OK, go to Power BI cloud, Okay, go to Power BI Cloud. And once you go to Power BI Cloud, make sure you verify the reports. We publish them from the desktop tool. So you get them here. What's our requirement? To refresh your report, to make sure your report is up to date. I mean, our requirement. We are going to do some changes to the source in your local computer, local data source, Excel, CSV or SQL database, anything, your local data source, you do some changes. Those changes should be reflected in your Power BI report in cloud. Initially, yes, your report has some data like this. Let's concentrate on the sale price. Total, it is some 6,64 or 66 lakh and some 40,811. Right? 66 lakh, 40,811. Right now, the total sales value at this moment. Let's understand if we do some changes at the source. Our Excel source, we would like to, we would like to get them to cloud. How? Click on, go back to our original page, the workspace page, and click on the small dot dot button, download data gateway. I repeat, dot dot button, download data gateway. Okay, once we click on this data gateway, then we get one software, a app like this downloaded. We need to just proceed with our installation now. Here it is. Click on, click on. accept licensing terms just click on accept licensing terms say install like this just click on install in this way ok 
okay let's wait for a few moments click on install say yes let's wait for a few moments let's wait for a few moments and your installation would be complete let's stay tuned almost done let's wait for a few moments yes installation complete it will prompt you the gateway installation screen will prompt you for email address which email address it should be the same email address you are using to log in to your power bi cloud okay same email address same credentials you have to use so make sure you are providing whatever cloud credentials you are using to connect your app.powerbi.com same credentials you have to use to log into gateway also it will prompt you for the password make sure you are providing valid cloud cloud credentials make sure you are providing valid cloud credentials let's wait for some time let's wait for a few moments okay next register a new gateway register a new gateway like this click next give some gateway name i'll say spl school data source data source location give some name any name is fine okay just provide some name choose any password any password of your choice okay in this screen you can specify any name and any password of your choice and next click configure this one click configure remember previous screen we have to provide valid power bi cloud details in this screen any details are fine a new name and a password anything is okay let's configure the gateway and once you configure the gateway next step back to our notes what we are doing log into cloud create a workspace desktop identify the data source design the report publish to cloud download gateway standard mode while well, click on this particular download gateway which has a standard mode here i click on dot dot download data gateway it will take you this way standard mode personal personal means only one user can access standard mode multi user connections multiple users can access for now what we do let's see yes we download the gateway it will ask you to sign into your power bi cloud then register with whatever name and password you wanted just register so sign in okay sign in using cloud and register to the gateway with whatever name and password you wanted once it is done okay make sure you get gateway is online ready to be used like this next what we do now the actual data refresh testing environment from power bi cloud go to data set settings identify the above installed gateway here it is go to power bi cloud workspace data set settings see here as per the notes data set settings 
I repeat again, go to Power BI Cloud Workspace Data Set Settings. Once you go to Data Set Settings, Expand Gateway and our requirement, this is the gateway we installed today, this one. So click on the small arrow mark, click on the small arrow mark where it is. I'll just uh, remove the other gateway to make it clear for our practice. Okay, I'll just make sure I'll uh, remove the existing gateway to make it clear for our practice purpose. Just wait, please wait. To make it more clear for our practice, easy understanding. Where we are, workspace, data set, settings. Once you go to workspace, data set, settings, then go to gateway and we see status not configured correctly, right? We installed gateway. We log in from the gateway to cloud, but we did not link the data set. Data set pertaining to the current report, the data set we didn't link to the gateway. Hence the error, status error. Click on the small arrow mark and add to gateway. See here, what is this? In my F drive, the data source automatically available. Click on Add to Gateway. Just click on Add to Gateway. Once we click on Add to Gateway, ask you for the data source name. This is the path. Type can be file, database, or it can be even dynamic, CRM, anything. In our example, we are taking Excel. It may be Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, Snowflake, anything it can be. Anything. Whatever data source you are using for your report, we have to use it. Right from Azure to Snowflake, anything is fine. Now, Select the file, the file, path, authentication. For this data source in my F drive, I installed gateway in my computer because my computer has this data source hosted. For logging into my computer, I have to provide my computer login credentials and the password. Remember, very important to note, if you are using your local computer credentials, it should be in this way. Computer name backslash username. And your login password. Laptop pin will not work. Regular pins will not work. We need to have a valid password. So if required, you set a password. Make sure the username is computer name backslash username like this. Click create like this. Click on create. Just click on create. Once we get this created, next step. Expand gateway. Expand gateway. Then next, here we go. Go to the data source. Earlier what we did, the small arrow mark, top arrow mark. Now bottom arrow mark. Click on data source, apply. Click on data source, apply. That's it, you are done. Earlier. Our computer has a gateway. Right here it is. Computer has a gateway. Now gateway is linked to the data set. Data set is anyway linked to your report already. So what we did now. In the data set settings. Data set settings. 
we got gateway connected very important final touch schedule refresh and you have to specify how frequently you would like to schedule the data refresh like this 6 am 6 pm like this we need to specify the frequency of schedule and failure notification if schedule do not happen maybe gateway credentials got modified or the computer is down because i'm installing gateway in my computer my computer should be up and running if it is down then you would like to send notification failures or failure notification emails to data set owner who is the owner top right this is the owner this contact is the owner what we did now we simply went to data set settings and gateway is configured how do you verify here it is refreshed at the time of upload uploading or publishing the report next refresh today 6 pm we can refresh manually also before we refresh let's verify right now sale price is total 66 lakh 40k 40811 for sale price so what i'll do is i'll just have some trial data like this okay something like this just some trial data in this way for sale price value i'm just giving some trial data like this okay save it just save it i did some modification to the data source right i did some modification to the data source and then save it close it and back to our report workspace environment click on refresh verify the refresh time earlier refresh was few minutes back when we published the report now what we are doing we are modifying the source data refreshing it again let's wait for some time it's still going on let's wait remember we are performing some data refresh manually of course it's already scheduled i don't want to wait until today evening to verify whether the schedule is working or not whether the refresh is working or not so manual refresh and then we have to refresh the visuals see here refresh visuals and let's wait now see here the sale price got modified 51031k value you see the new changes here so this is what gateway means the purpose of gateway is remember starting of our classes from the demo introduction class you have this diagram our entire power bi course content plan and here we are understanding black box to purple or violet to cloud make sure you practice this item as is and do let me know for doubts clarifications remember we are using excel you may use any data source the process remains same for up to date power bi reports please practice and let me know for questions if any as usual we have faqs as usual we have faq just like every chapter in our entire course even for this chapter also you have faqs available in your class notes please make sure you try to submit the faqs and let me know for clarifications if any and get my answers back 
प्लीज प्रैक्टिस एंड यूज मी फॉर योर डाउट्स एंड क्लैरिफिकेशन थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ नाइस टाइम थैंक यू वंस अगेन